Hi guys, um, just a video just to go through kind of what you should be doing with collaboration uh, right now. So we've given you on um, Teams some worksheets that you can print out. Hopefully you're all able to print out them as a JPEG. So then you can print them in A4, A3 if you've got those printers or use them to kind of create your own um, page if you don't have a printer. Now, what I want to show you is just some examples that our kids have done before. Okay, so if we have a look here, this is the collaboration sheet that we've put on to shared um, teams for you. And just to talk through each of the different sections. So the first thing I want you to focus on is this bit up here. It's like a regular spray diagram. You're going to put your context that you've chosen in there. So for example, this one says historical influences. This one's got space written in there. It can be whatever area you're thinking about choosing for your contextual situation. So it might be disability awareness. It could be Welsh heritage, could be materials, um, materials of the future, whatever you choose, it doesn't matter, but you can put it in the center. And then you use the spray diagram like you normally would to kind of come up with all the things you're going to need to think about that could affect your design um, as you carry on through the project. Now, there is no obligation to pick whatever you put in here as your context right now. That doesn't mean that's exactly what you've got to do. We still have time to make decisions, but we just need to get you thinking right now. So up here, we've got things like um, target audience off here. Um, and things off there saying 21st century, retro, people who like those kind of things, collectors, um, all different people to, of your target market that this would affect. Um, here we've got location and culture, we've got time periods, because remember this is all linked to historical influence. If we have a look at this one by here on the space, they've done it quite differently, so they've put what. So what are we talking about? When we're talking about space, what do we think? we think about space saving things. It might be space itself, as in planets and stars. Who knows? But it's just whatever you think of when you think of those words. We've also got um, on this sheet here, so some collaborated ideas. On this section where you're sketching, you need to sketch with somebody else, okay? You're gonna collaborate on the sheet. It's the name of the sheet. So you need to be working with other people during this project. You are going to be kind of getting ideas off them. You're going to be talking through your ideas with them. More minds are better than one. OK, and that's what we want you to do for this particular task. Now, we understand we're still in lockdown, so you're still stuck in your house, but that's fine. You could do this with your parents. You could do it with brothers, sisters, whatever, whoever lives in your household with you. You could also do this over a video call. So you could do a little WhatsApp video call and you can kind of work on this together um, over the video. There's no reason why you can't. On here, we've got main areas affecting designs uh, for this context. So remember, this one's historical. So she's written down time period, culture, location, uh, economy, materials, uh, available resources, accuracy, influence of events, um, for example, conflict. So in here is anything, the main areas you think they're going to affect your design if you were choosing historical influence. For this one, we've got um, for space, space available, demographic, so who, who's it involving, uh, environment, compactness, because space is in, uh, important when you're designing your product to fit somewhere, and convenience. Okay, so they're very different depending on what you have chosen for your contact. Then this is the confusing section that people find most difficult to do. How are social, moral, ethical and sustainability affected by this context? So, for example, taste, movement, different design movements um, appeal to different people. OK, not everybody likes everything. I'm not a fan of Art Nouveau, but I love Art Deco. So my choices would influence my design, but I've got to make sure I'm always aware of what my target market want, not what I want. Um, materials, uh, sheepskin, ivory, etc. So we know that morally it is wrong to um, use ivory and stuff anymore. It's banned, so we're not allowed to use it. If you were making a product that was inspired historically, we know lots of that material was used on products. It's not anymore. 
So what could we do if we wanted to design something that should look historical, like it maybe had ivory on it? What modern materials, almost sustainable materials, could we use in place of that? But it could look the same. Um, so they would put slave labour and stuff on here. So where are they going to manufacture their products? Are they going to make sure that they're ethically produced? Um, waste, for example, fossil fuels and things. So what energy are we going to use when we're manufacturing our products or creating the material for our products? So it's really different. And here they've written like a whole kind of uh, paragraph about it. How you choose to display it is completely up to you and whoever you choose to collaborate with. But I just wanted to kind of give you a little idea here of what you need to be displaying. As you can see from the sketches, we're using a nice mix of three dimensional drawing, sketching techniques. I don't need any like finished drawing. It can be very, very sketchy, but a little bit of annotation to explain. OK, link this whole thing together. And this is a great page to start off your work.